x squared plus 2. Okay. The figure still starts and ends at the same places, negative 1 and 2. So this integral is going to go from negative 1 to 2. And I add up every sliver. So this is the integral this time. Okay. Any questions so far about finding the area of a sliver? One slice. This is what we were doing when we did the um, disk method, right? The disk is a slice that happens to have the area of a circle. Okay, well now we're going a little more generic. What if it's not a circle? Same idea, add up all the slices. And your job is what's the area of a single slice? Okay. Yes? What's the difference from the step that you did on the right side to the left side? Uh, this is for a square, and this is for a rectangle. So you'll notice that if you look at the pictures, um, here, the height is only 1. The height is still 1 if I draw the figure there. But to make it a square, it has to have the same height as it has width, right? So now that means that square is not as high as this one. That's why there's some difference in their calculation. Okay, so it's same width as height, so it's this piece times this piece, same base as height. Okay, so I'm going to get you uh, to try this one, which is um, if you have a circle of radius 2, and you're asked to find the cross-section, um, let's try it for squares, okay? So basically, here's the shape I'm going to slice out of it. Uh, I guess that's not quite a square, but hopefully enough that I can come up with an area of it. Okay, so if this is where my, if this is where my uh, point meets up, and this is the curve x squared plus y squared equals 4, what is the area of one slice? Okay, so uh, I see a few people have an explicit equation. But we should try and move these around. So instead of dealing with this, we're going to deal with this equation here. Okay. Now, if you think about why is it that you get a plus and a minus, well, 1 is the top half. This is y equals root 4 minus x squared. And this is y equals negative root 4 minus x squared. So if I wanted to know what are the coordinates, for these points, if I told you this is x, then the other coordinate must be this, root 4 minus x squared. Okay? Down here, if I tell you this is x, this is on the bottom, the negative side. So it's going to be negative root 4 minus x squared. So now I can figure out the length of this square. It's going to be the top, which is... 4 minus x squared, and I'm going to subtract this piece here, negative root 4 minus x squared. So one side is going to be 2 root 4 minus x squared, and that means I can come up with the area. The area of this square is... 2 root 4 minus x squared, all squared. Okay. And that will give me 4 times 4 minus x squared, which is uh, 16 minus 4x. So my job now is to think about where are my bounds. If I go across this entire circle, Here's the picture. What are the bounds for the integral? Negative 2 to 2. This one side here, it has a radius of 2 to 2. So that means I'm going to go, say my uh, integral, the volume will be from negative 2 to 2 of 16 minus 4x squared. Okay. So, again, we've got to find one slice. What is the area for the single slice? Okay. 
The area for this slice is 16 minus 4x squared. So I add up every single little tiny slice from negative 2 to 2. We're going to jump to the semicircle question. Um, this question here. This is the one, um, if you follow the last example, you should be able to do the semicircle question uh, fairly easy too. Remember, semicircle is going to have an area pi r squared over 2. So give it a try. Okay, so um, I would always start with a good picture. So here's my circle, and here's my slice. So there's the slice. It's going to be a semicircular cross section. So it's roughly going to do this. My job is to figure out what is the area of that slice in my picture. Okay. Uh, remember, in your AP exam, you're not going to have, you know, they're not nice enough to give you these 3D pictures. You're going to have to do like I just did here and make a picture of your slice yourself. So what we have to figure out then is we said um, area for a semicircle is pi r squared, the area of a circle, divided by 2. So if I look at my picture, it's pretty easy to get the radius. Anyone come up with the radius? Yeah, it's very similar to what we did before. So the radius, this piece here, okay? How, how t if I've got my pen here, I tell you we're at x, what's the height of that slice right now? So I just, just go from the radius. So just from here up to there, what's, the, what's it gonna be? Yeah, square root of 4 minus x. 4 minus x squared. Okay, so now I know the radius. That's, I don't need to go any farther. I only need half of the circle. That's the radius. So this is going to be pi times the square root of 4 minus x squared, all squared, divided by 2. And that gives me an area, which is 4 minus x squared, all over 2. And we have the same bounds, so the volume for this figure is negative 2 to 2 of pi, well I guess I can, let's take the constant out front, I can put pi over 2 here, and then I can go 4 minus x squared dx here. Okay, so that would add up all the slices. So we're going to try a couple of triangular ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the triangle formula uh, for the first one, and I'm going to let you work out the second one. Okay, are there any questions? Can I move that slide? OK. So for equilateral triangles, let's draw an equilateral triangle and figure out what's the area of an equilateral triangle. Because in order to answer this question, I have to be able to slice it up into equilateral triangles and look at each piece of the area. So here's possibly an equilateral triangle. <laughs> what do you know about the equilateral triangle? All sides are equal, all sides are equal and 60 degrees. 60 degrees, all angles are equal. So basically what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go like this. Okay. Um, what does this look like to you that's familiar? Yeah, it's from Trig. Do you remember what? Uh... 30, 60. Yeah, it's the 30, 60, 90 one, the triangle. So if I was to put a line down here, right, and I'd have 30 degrees up there, this would be the triangle that had two here, one here,